evil schemes of the devil. These are the flaming arrows of the evil one. Remember, the devil uses the word of God to fight the church. What the devil does, he changes the information. I want us to go to the Bible and we will not read because of time. When Eve was attacked by the devil, in the garden of Eden, the, the, the Bible says the devil came to Eve and asked Eve, did God say that you should not eat of this fruit? The information that Eve and was, if you eat of this fruit, you will die. And that was the shield that Eve used to have. I want you to understand, the word of God becomes a shield when it is revealed to you. Without the revelation of the word of God, it cannot become a shield. Uh, when you read uh, Genesis chapter 3, 1 up to 6, you will see the devil came to, to Eve by a device of a... Uh, 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 schemes of uh, speaking lies. Changing the information which God had said about Eve. Remember, he said, God doesn't want you to eat this fruit uh, so that you don't become like him. But when you read Genesis chapter 1 verses 26, the scripture says, man was created in the image and the likeness of God. So the, Bible, uh, the devil change the information. So when, when the Bible says the flaming arrows, it's when the devil changes the information of the word of God. Why do we need faith? Faith is the one that is going to become a shield to us. Let me tell you, how do you begin to have faith? Faith, you can't have faith without an encounter. Faith comes by hearing and hearing the word of God. Faith comes by an, exp an experience with God. When you get an experience with God, that experience brings revelation. When you get the revelation, the revelation brings the conviction. After getting the conviction of faith. Now you come to a point of believing. And from believing, that is when you begin to have the act of obedience. Faith cannot be complete without acts of obedience. I want, I want you to understand it is only the word of God which has been revealed to you which can become a seal. For instance, I want to use an example of David. Because there, there is a scripture that we read about David and Goliath. I want you to understand the word of God is the sword of the spirit. But when it is revealed, it is revealed to you. It becomes a seed. A seed of faith. What made David despise Goliath? Goliath was a giant. Nine feet tall. Wearing iron armor. Even kings, King Saul and all the soldiers. All of them were afraid and terrified of Goliath. But look at a, a young man, only 17 years, when he comes to the scene, and uh, Goliath emerges, and comes and begins to insult God. David despises Goliath as though he is nothing. What did this what did David know that others never knew? What was the shield of David? What gave David the boldness that he earned? Number one, the Bible says, David said, 
Philistines have no covenant with God. But Israelites have a covenant with God. I want you to know, my listener, when you know that you have a covenant with God by faith, no matter the attack the devil brings to you, always know that God is a keeper of his covenant. God is faithful even to keep his word. David knew that the Lord Lord and covenant with Israel. Even though Goliath was a giant, he didn't have any protection. Though David was a young man, he knew he had a protection. He had a cover with the Lord. That's why he was not a friend like the rest. Number two, he was not fighting in his power. He was not fighting with his spear and javelin and sword. He said to Goliath, You come to me with his spear and javelin. But I come to you in the name of the Lord. No matter the talent you are facing. I know the devil will throw darts of fear. Will throw darts of uh, uh, doubts. He will begin to tell you you are not qualified. You are not up to tax. You cannot make it. But I, I come to you with the word of God. The Bible says it's not by might, it's not by strength. But by the spirit of the Lord. That is what becomes your shield. Yes, you might not be having anybody alive you. Nobody is supporting you. But you have the shield of the word of God. Look at David. David says, even though I walk in the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. Why? He knew with the Lord he is protected. There cannot be any death where God is. Because God is life. Death is absence of life. When you have God, you have life. So even if death comes, you cannot be afraid. Hallelujah. David was uh, uh, another thing that David knew. The battle does not belong to, to any man. He knew the battle belongs to the Lord. The rest of the Israelites were afraid. They didn't have a shield. They didn't have any faith in the Lord. But David believed in God. Why? David had an encounter. When he, when he insisted that he will fight Goliath, King Saul asked him, are you sure you can fight Goliath? David said, yes, I can fight Goliath. He told King Saul, this is not my first time to fight. One time, a lion came. It took one of the sheep. With my bare hands, I killed it. Another time, a bear came. I took it with my bare hands. These Philistines who is uncircumcised, the Lord who delivered me from the lion and the bear, he will deliver me from this one. Let me tell you something. When you have an encounter with God, if the Lord has ever delivered you somewhere, yes, you might be passing very hard times right now. But remember sometimes back, there is a time the Lord helped you. Use it as a shield. That the Lord who helped you that time, he is alive. And he is alive forever. The Bible says, he is not like a man that he can change. He does not grow tired. Let's read a scripture. Uh, Isaiah chapter 60, uh, chapter 40, sorry. Isaiah Sulana verses 27. Let's read something there. Katsumeyo. Isaiah 40 27. The Bible says, Why do you say, O Jacob? And, and complain, O Israel, that my way is hidden from the Lord. My cause is disregarded by my God. Do, 
Do you not know? Tomanyi. Have you not heard? Tawuliranga. The Lord is everlasting. Katonda tagwao. The creator of ends of the earth. Omutonzu, omutonzu he, will, he will not grow tired. Takowa. Or weary. And his understanding. Era. No one can fathom. He gives strength to the weary and increases power to the weak. Even the youth will grow tired and be weary. And the young men will stumble and fall. But those who wait upon the Lord, they shall renew their strength. They will soar with wings like eagles. They will learn and not go weary. They will walk and they will never faint. Praise the Lord. Those who wait upon the Lord, they will renew their strength in the Lord. They will sow with wings like eagles. Yes, you can tell me Corona has really destroyed many things. But I want to let you know that Corona has not moved the throne of God. God is still on his throne. No matter what has happened, nothing has changed in heaven. God is yesterday yesterday, today, and forever. If he helped you yesterday, he can help you today. He can help you tomorrow. Be strengthened in him. He's the one who gives strength to those who are weak. You see, David, I, I love talking about David because he understood the shield of faith. There is no battle David lost even once. He was not winning by strength. He was not winning by power. He was winning because he believed in the Lord. Tonight, I want you to know that you can use your faith as the shield, as the shield, as the shield. The devil is, is, is bringing sickness. He's causing you to have some endache. Don't agree with the endache. Stand with the word of God that says by his tribes, I I am healed. I am healed. No matter the symptom, don't cooperate with the devil. The Bible says resist the devil. Do not cooperate with the devil. What is to resist? It is to refuse to cooperate. You see, devil blows the darts so that we can cooperate with him. He will tell you, you are not learned. You, can, you are not qualified for that task. You cannot make it. You cannot be married. You come from a long tribe. You are poor. You are nothing. Don't angry with with the devil. Go to the word of God. What, the, what does the word of God say about you? It says you are fearfully and wonderfully made. It says you are an overcomer. It says because you overcame, you will also overcome. I want to talk to you, Uganda. It doesn't matter what Corona has done to the entire world. We have the Lord. The Lord is on our side. The Bible says, if the Lord is on our side. Who can be against us? Who can stand against us? What is Corona before the Lord? Corona is nothing. Men of God, let's stand by faith. No matter the challenge, no matter the challenge the devil is bringing, praise the Lord. There is another thing that David knew. He said it is not by mighty. It is not by strength, but by the spirit spirit of the Lord. King Saul never understood this one. The armies did not understood this one. They look Goliath at the size. But David and the word of God, he knew the battle is not his. He knew the battle is of the Lord. So he never fought with his strength. He fought with the strength of the Lord. Praise the Lord. Use the word of God. It is your shield. Get revelation. How do you get revelation? Let's read a scripture. Joshua chapter 1 verses 8. There is a way for you to get revelation. Because 
Faith that you don't have revelation of. Faith that has no encounter with the word of God. That faith cannot produce anything. Remember, I am not talking about faith as end knowledge. Or five common senses. I am talking about faith from a point of an encounter where you encounter the word of God. Let's read a scripture. The Bible says in verse 8, chapter 1 of uh, Joshua, Do not let, the, let this book of the law depart from your mouth day and night meditate upon it so that you may be careful to do everything that is written in it then, then you will be prosperous and successful praise the Lord Hallelujah. the Bible is calling us to meditate meditation is not just quoting the scripture meditating is not memorizing the scripture meditating is when you take that word and begin to take it to your situation take the, take the scriptures take it to your situation begin to think, be, begin to ponder about what God can do through your situation through the word the Bible says God sent to Joshua don't let this word of the law depart from your mouth why, why from your mouth the word of God you believe in the act but you confess in your mouth what you have not believed you, even if you confess it has no power that's why the Bible says it is in the art we believe and in our mouth we confess so tonight, the word of God becomes your seal when you get the revelation of it. Hallelujah. When it is revealed in your life, it becomes your seal. You use it to fight. You use it as a, as a defense. Praise the Lord. Amen. The devil tells you you will die. The devil tells you you will not make it. But what does the scripture say? I shall not die. I will live even to proclaim the purposes of the Lord in my life. Amen. The devil tells you you are weak. What does the Bible tells you? Let the weak say they are strong. Don't agree with the, with the devil. Agree with the word of God. Even if you are weak in the body, you are strong in the Lord. It's not about what you feel. Faith is not a feeling. Faith is in the spirit. Praise the Lord. Amen. The devil tells you, you you will not make it. You can't make it. What does the word of God say? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The one who began the good work in your life, he will accomplish it. He is faithful. He is the keeper of his word. Church of Christ, be encouraged. Have the sweet, the, the sword of the, of the spirit and also have the shield. Don't go to the battle only with the sword. You need the revelation. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you so much. Our dear listeners, we continue to bless the Lord this night. He has told us faith as a shield. Many times, we use faith to acquire things. We use faith to acquire things. We use faith to acquire things. We only use faith to acquire things. But he has gone deep in it. That faith is not just to receive. But faith it is the shield that protects. When the enemy throws arrows, they, they hit the shield. They, you only put the shield of faith. So our listener today, if you don't use the shield of faith, 
The enemy can shoot through you. He can kill you. But if you're going to the battle, you have the word of God as a sword and the word of God as a shield of faith. When the enemy throws the death of, of fear, the death of doubt, the arrows of sickness, the battles, you cannot do it, you can't make it. Away. Put there the shield and refuse it in Jesus' name and say the Lord is with me. I was created in the image of God. I'm a child of the highest so that you can refuse the enemy in the name of Jesus Christ. Do not agree with him. Don't cooperate with him. Don't agree with him. But use the word of God as your shield to resist his plans. Resist all his arrows in the name of Jesus, the Son of the Living God. Our friend that is listening today, we want to pray together with you. The man of God was to pray for you. I feel the anointing right here in the studio to reach you where you are in Jesus' name. And from yesterday, we began a seminar at Jesus Celebration Church in Atit. And I call upon you wherever you are at exactly 5 p.m. You should be there. You should, it should, it should find you there. We, we shall be, we shall be prayed for there is the word in the name of Jesus Christ. At this time, we want to first pray for someone that wants to get born again. You want to give your life to we Jesus. We have a lot of friends that have given their lives to Christ in the program. We have a lot of friends that have given their lives to Christ in the program. Someone called from Aruwa and they said I'm, I'm born again today and someone called in from Entebbe studio. after we left the studio and they said Pastor pray for me I want to be born and again they and they also get their lives to and a lot of people that so have been called so I don't want to deny the chance for those who want to be born if again if you're there and you want to be born again today I pray that you will prepare and repeat after us because a decision to be born again is the greatest decision in your life it's the decision that changes your destiny it gets you from death and brings you to life. Because the Bible says we believe with your heart for righteousness and you confess with the mouth for salvation. Because of scriptures say anyone that believes in him they will not be ashamed. So if you want to be born again repeat after us. Say Lord Jesus today I've heard your word and I, and I know that you are the Savior. Today, I believe with my heart that you died and you rose again. And you went to heaven and you're coming back to judge for the living and the dead. So today, I decide to be born again. I give you my heart. I give you my mind. I, I choose to follow you. I renounce the devil and his works and his today I'm born again in the name of Jesus. Amen. So if you say the prayer, you are now born again in the name of Jesus Christ. We are located at Jesus Celebration Church behind the Natete Market. If you're living off the occurrence of Masaka Road, there is that occurrence that goes up to Makai. You'll find a big poster at your right hand if you're going up. It has Jesus Celebration Church. It has Jesus Celebration Church. There is a big bank. If you reach that big hump, you just turn right. You'll see that poster. 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 You'll see
Amen. Ero cha kutusanga wa wo. We are there every day. We are there every day. Every evening we are there every day. So this week, every evening we are there every day. The man of God is going to release the word of anointing. The word of healing. The word that gives you power so that you can fight the battle and overcome in the name of Jesus. Say hallelujah. So at this time, we are going to receive we are going to receive calls, and we are going to pray for Make different people. But let's first pray for the word you've heard. Everlasting Father, thank you for the word that has been declared. Your word will never go back to you void. It will perform what you need. And even we pray today that it will perform your work in the lives of your men and women. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. So this time, if you want to tell us what you are going to pray for, the studio lines are these. There's no studio line. Air 2750. 10. 77 70 Air 2705 10 70 77 70 Then MTN 7782 You want to receive the calls You tell us your name Where you are calling from And the reason of your calling Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We want to bless the Lord for His word. We bless God because He is going to perform in His You can call in MTN and Airtel and we shall be receiving and we shall provide in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Hello. Are you coming to Hello, Hello, Sebo. Are you coming to Munafe, are you coming to Gambalo? Are you coming to Gambalo? Are you coming to Gambalo? Hello. Hello. Are you coming to Gambalo? Sorry, now of Deco, Smanova Damugeza Cuba, to Rabbi Aduquia Telgambalo. Hello, Aduquia Telgambalo. Munna for the air Telgambalo. Uh, maybe is uh, are you going to MTN Gamba? Hello, MTN. You must be a common civil. Wait, you want a civil? Yeah, yeah, MTN. Your face, I desire to look at your Gambi Guani. Ya kat kusabi le chiguani. Emmanuel. Nsonga chiyo kat kusabi le mkwani. Aduko ya mtiyanu gama halo. Ya do sebo. Mkama feba sebe sebo. Guani sebo ilo sisi de wane nsonga. O sisi de wa? Buziga. Kati nsu mkwana tusu tukiti kanyi nsonga ji. Amakago. Ok. Okay. Kari, kati kwa wabu sigatu. Na ye, ali kwe ya tero gamba halo? Halo kwe ya tero? Kwa gamba ya zimu, sili nao uzi wadi wa stereo dakte. 
Mikwano Jafe. Our dear friends. Adiko ya teruga malo. Okay. Uh, Katumade nsababi mikwano. Watch out which about it. It's Sebuam. Them to fire you can to gain a kusaba. We are going to pray. Kubanga, watch out which about it is um. Amen. Eh, watch my little Zabrunji then to Jack watch the day to Jacob Deco Massimoga finger with red collar. They are still working upon something so already. Now, Makasera Kanokanini. At this time, to our Gara to Kirizeka Tonda. We want to believe God. To gain that Kusaba, our woman now. We are going to pray with our Nini Wori. Right where you are. Bobori Murwa de Quata Wakuruma. Touch, touch where you are. Bobanga, we know waiter for waving Simbi, Wanike Mikono Joa Guru. Just raise up your hands. Nothing to him, Mrs. Jaffe. We are also raising. To our gain that cookie is Ganya, our woman now. We are going to believe 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 what the Lord says, that's what will work in the name of Amen. Jesus. Amen. Apostle, Apostle, we want to pray for these people. We have our brothers and sisters. They always call and tell us, and we agree with them what they are believing God for. But tonight we are going to pray direct to them. And we are going to believe God with them. Whatever they are believing God for. The Lord, I know that we will hear our prayers and he will work. We'll begin with prayer right now. Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, mm. we give you that praise, we bless your name. Mm. You are the mover of all things. Mm. You are the maker of heaven and earth. You have said, Jehovah God, you will never summon your people in vain. Neither will Jacob call you in vain. Mm. Your people are calling unto you this yes. evening. Many are sick. Many are suffering. Right now we lay them before you, God of glory. We lay the, our hands on their lives right now. Over the airwaves. In the name of Jesus. Every, every infirmity. Go. Go. In the name of Jesus. Every sickness, die, die, in the name of Jesus Christ, every situation, be lifted, be lifted, in the name of Jesus, those who are believing for financial breakthroughs, God open a way for them, in the name of Jesus, those who are believing you for their families, God Almighty help them out, in the name of Jesus Christ, every hand of the devil, over their lives, Katana, Kata, in the name of Jesus Christ, everlasting Father, rain, rain over their lives, rain over their families, rain in their jobs, in the name of Jesus, look at that lady who is crying because of the business, Lord Almighty, help her, help her, in the name of Jesus, help this lady who is crying because of the husband, Help them to over King of all glory. Help this woman who is crying because of her children. In the name of Jesus Christ. Every need, let it be met. In the name of Jesus Christ. As we conclude, mm. I see somebody who, is, who has been given a bad report by the doctor. You don't have many days to live. Those are ones of a man. Those are ones of a man. But we bring the word of God. You will not die. Yes. You will live. In the live. name of Jesus. Every hour of death. Mm. Over you alive. Right now. Right now. Fall down. And lose your power. 
In the name of Jesus, we release the healing lane, the healing power of the living God upon your life. We send the word, we send the word to where you are sleeping in the bed and release every sickness in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, King of Glory. Thank you, the over God Almighty. Thank you because of inner radio. Thank you for what you are doing over this radio. We bless your name. We give you the glory. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Our dear brethren that are listening at this program, Rivers of the Desert, we continue to inform you that Jesus makes this program next to you. And we are located at Natete, behind the Natete market. When you are on that road, you will find a big poster that has Jesus' celebration church. That has Jesus' celebration church. That's where our home is. That's where we are located. We invite you in the name of Jesus. Every Sunday we have three services. The first one begins at 7 up to 9. The second begins at 10 up to 8. The third begins at 1 to 3. But every day we are still in the name of Jesus Christ. So if you're there, if this program has blessed you, a lot of people have been encouraged. A lot of ministries have begun because of the program. But it's being paid for. So if you're there, and you have an offering, you have an offering, you have a seed. You say this program has blessed me. It has blessed others. I would like to sow my seed. In the name of Jesus Christ. We invite you in the name of Jesus Christ. To sow in this ministry. In the name of Jesus. You can send in 50,000. 100,000. 200,000. 500,000. 10,000. 5,000. 5,000. 5,000. 5,000. 5,000. 5,000. 5,000. 5,000. 5,000. 5,000. 5,000. 5,000. 5,000. 5,000. 5,000. 5,000. 5,000. 5,000. 5,000. 5,000. 